All right, in this video, I'd like to talk about the best book for anyone that's overweight and would like to run. So that's anyone that's overweight or obese and wants to start running or jogging, or anyone that's just trying to jog or run for the first time. So a little bit of background. I've always, probably since I was 17, uh, been into some type of running. I remember conditioning and running um, in high school for a number of different sports and then ever since then you know, I've been doing it as part of my career. I've had to stay in shape for different um, fitness tests uh, and running tests so I've always been somewhat interested in running and so I never really had a need to start out running as a beginner because I just assumed I could run and then I started doing it uh, for sports and then along the way I made some modifications and got a little bit better at it and I've never been a you know, excellent competitive level runner uh, at any real impressive uh, level. But I have gotten quite a bit faster over the years and learned a lot about how to train other people to run because I have trained quite a few people from the beginning level. So over the years, I've read a number of books and this one really stands out to me. Um, not necessarily just this book, but this author is having the most accessible means for anyone that's a beginner or overweight to start running. So this author is Jeff Galloway. I talk about this book, this specific book, Running, Testing Yourself by Jeff Galloway in one of my other videos on the best books for running and weight training. But this book uh, specifically is for people who are trying to get faster for running tests. So I don't necessarily recommend this book, but Jeff Galloway, the author, I recommend to anyone trying to get into running. Specifically, I recommend his book Run, Walk, Run because his method sets up specific speeds for running uh, and specific durations of running and then walking that people can use to introduce their body to the challenges of running. What I really love about this is many people use this type of training, known as endurance training, or excuse me, interval training, for higher intensity running. So when people are trying to train themselves to run faster, they'll often use periods, specific length periods of faster running at a higher speed, interspersed with specific length periods of lower speed running as an easy method of recovering while they're still moving. However, I haven't seen people use formalized intervals for walking in between bouts of regular running or jogging outside of Jeff Galloway's methods. Excuse me, Jeff Galloway's methods. What I like about his book is he's and all his books is he sets up specific speeds to run at and specific lengths of time to run at those speeds. So to give you an example, in this book he talks about the different types of runs you're going to do. And for example, if you're training for a 5K, which is a 3.2 mile run, and you have a goal pace per mile of 5 minutes per mile, he recommends a goal long distance running speed of 8 minutes per mile. Similarly, if you want to run a 9 minute per mile 5K, he recommends a long distance running training pace of 12 minutes per mile. What's great about this is he then goes a step further and creates specific running and walking ratios for anyone that wants to use those speeds in their training. So for example, the person who's aiming for a nine minute per mile 5K and wants to train at 12 minutes per mile, according to his program, would use two to three minutes of running at 12 minutes per mile interspersed with every, every one minute of walking. So to train for that, excuse me, nine minute 5K, they would train for their long runs at 12 minutes per mile and they would run that speed for two to three minutes interspersed with one minute of walking for each two to three minutes of running. So to go a little bit faster, if you're someone who's trying to run that five minute per mile 5K, which for many people that's impressive, for anyone that's a competitive runner, that's obviously not as big a deal, but for anyone trying to run that five minute per mile 5K, he gives an estimated long distance running pace of eight minutes per mile. So for that eight minutes per mile, he recommends you run five to seven minutes with one minute, or excuse me, one minute of walking in between. And what I really love about this is I actually came upon this method when I was training for my job uh, for what's called a ruck run, where you're running with a backpack on and there's a certain amount of weight. Generally, the weight ranges from 35 to 55 pounds. So in essence, it's very similar to someone who's overweight and trying to get into running and walking. And I found that this was exactly the method that helped me to more quickly recover and progress in my speed and is exactly the type that I'd recommend for anyone who feels that they are overweight at all or may not have the conditioning in their legs, knees, hips, or ankles to begin running but is anxious to get started. Using this method for some of the slower paced runs, you're going to have periods of running and walking where, for example, at the slowest speeds, you're only going to be running for a minute with three and a half minutes of walking in between. 
So I don't know about you, but for me, if I was getting into running again and I was overweight, or when I'm starting to do train ups with you know, weight on my back in the form of a backpack, I would much prefer to start off with reasonable sets of running like one minute interspersed with longer sets of walking like three and a half minutes before I progress to higher speeds and longer distances, you know, such as some of the higher speeds where he recommends five to seven minutes of running with only one minute of walking. And of course, in a race when you may be running very fast the whole time. So any of Jeff Galloway's books, um, going from run, walk, run to any number of his other books, and then if you're doing specific tests, maybe checking out his book, Running Testing Yourself, I think is by far the best method that you can use to get into running if you're either a beginner in running or you're someone who is overweight, obese, or feels like they have more weight than they should but still wants to run. So I hope this video was helpful. Hopefully you got something out of it. Thank you for watching.